Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. Happy New Year! Now I have to admit right up front that New Year's is a holiday that confuses me. To be frank, I've never been sure what I'm supposed to do on that day or how I'm supposed to feel. Am I supposed to look back in gratitude or in sorrow or in regret? And looking forward is confusing as well. Am I supposed to look forward with hope or perhaps with fear? I've just never been able to lay my finger on the real pulse of this celebration. To make matters worse, we call it a holiday. And that word holiday comes from the words holy day. And there just doesn't seem to be a whole lot holy about New Year's or how we celebrate it. So I've never been sure what this time is really all about. Nevertheless, one thing I do understand is that New Year's is a time for new beginnings. And if there's any theme that happens over and over in the Bible, it's that God is a God of new beginnings. So I have searched out some Bible verses about new beginnings for us to ponder this week and to consider how they shape our new year. The first verse is Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I'm about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. One of the things we do in church so often is that we remember who God has been and what God has done in the past. Remembering those things, recounting them, leads us to offer praise to God. As we see God's blessings in our lives, as we know God's love and grace, we can't help but respond with praise and worship. But here, God turns to the present and the future. Don't worry about remembering all those things, God says. They may have been wonderful, but wait until you see what I've got in mind next. How exciting that is. God is about to do a new thing, and even now it is springing forth. We are called to open our eyes to look for God at work among us here and now. What a challenge for the new year. This is the time of year when many of us make New Year's resolutions. And what if our resolution this year was to open our eyes and actively to look for God all around us? What would we see? How often would we find God at work doing the unexpected? How much greater would our praise be? And by the way, we need to notice the end of the passage as well, how God tames the wilderness and brings water to the parched, barren places. When God works in our world, God transforms our world, changing the wrong to right, lifting up the lowly and those who have never had a break or a chance in life, giving life in the face of death. When God works in our world, God transforms our world. As we enter 2022, perhaps we should let this verse guide and challenge us. Let's open our eyes to discern God among us, in us, and around us. Can we dare to be a part of what God is doing? Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.